Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Aurora 4X. Um, so, in the last episode, um, I decided that uh, with our lack of long range ammunition and with our uh, with the fact that we just cannot really catch up to the little scout ship, uh, what I will be doing is uh, retreating for now. Uh, I'm thinking and uh, doing two things. First of all, I will be um, I will be setting up um, some fighters, a, a small strike carrier and a few fighters to go with it. Um, and also, I will be uh, designing maybe for some for some immediate use. I might come good of it. Uh, I will be designing a a two-stage cruise missile that will hopefully be able to catch this guy and shoot him down. Um, no, sorry, I can't do that because I don't have the te required technology for cruise missiles uh, to get that far, I don't think. So it's about half a million kilometers out, so... Mm. But um, I will be investigating that further, and worst-case scenario... Um, I will be, um, worst case scenario, um, I'll set up some proxy mines and see if those will be enough to catch them. So, um, I'll go ahead and do that first. Let's, let's investigate some mine designs. So, I don't necessarily want to design a whole new mine ship. So what I'll be doing is I will be looking into putting a few AMMs on this. So warhead, so for a mine, warhead strength is zero, field capacity is zero, um, and we'll need an active sensor. So first of all, let's see what we can do with this. So... Prototype, here we go. So we want two AMMs. And we'll probably fit three of them. Separation range is one million kilometers. And what kind of range can we get? So three will give us one of fuel. So this will give us 150 million, 150 range, but we don't, 181, mm, not bad. Um, what if, if we use this one, and we set up two. No. We do not have a missile that can do this for us. Uh, <clears throat> so what we'll do is I uh, will uh, use a calculator. So there's a lovely thread with the missile calculator. If you haven't used it, um, this is the one. Okay. So let's have a look at our missile tech at the moment. So damage, what doesn't matter? Agility, I suppose we can put in We're using magnetoplasma. <clears throat> Fuel consumption is 0.5 at the moment, and we have up to 200%. So how much room do we have to work with? Well, we have. So we need a size of six. We have a payload of three for our three missiles. Uh, damage needs to be zero. Target speed is 15,000. Don't we're not worrying about point defense tracking. And a goal range of 500, looks like a 600 million. 
All right, and let's see what it comes up with. <clears throat> Here we go. Ah, that's a forward damage missile. Not sure why. Oh well. Um, so we need 1.3 MSP with one, when 145 mod. So. Uh, so what have we got? We got <clears throat> a speed of 5,000. So it's going to be really slow. So we're going to have to rely on him not seeing this missile coming at all. Hold on. Tool 799. Yeah, that's not going to work. So obviously this, is, this seems to be telling me that it's pretty much impossible at the moment. That we just cannot get uh, that kind of range on here. Okay. Um, so that means we're going to have to go with fighters. So. First things first. Do I have a spare design? What's this? Here we go. Canimbla. Mm. The brook. Sure. Um, so this is our fighter. Or oh, fighter bomber. So what do we got? We got... Well, we need, we'll need an engine for it. We'll need a fire control for it. And we'll need... Some box launchers. Alternatively, we can mount maybe a little spinal laser, but no. All right, let's go design some tech support. So first of all, a nice fire control. Um, what's its tonnage? It was about nine thousand. Okay, 8,000 tons, missile fire control, we've got a new sensitivity as well, so what kind of range do we have? 100,000, we only need 50 million? Yeah, 50 million is going to be enough. 10 million will be interesting, but that might be a little bit close for comfort. Yeah, let's go for 50 million. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Next, we need <clears throat> missile launchers. Here we go. Um, what kind of missile? Um, let's make some box launchers for both sizes. So, box launcher. Reload rate's not going to matter, so we have a minimum to reduce cost. So we're going to check out a size 4 and the size 6. No, not a size. Yeah, size 4 and a size 6. Um, you know what? Let's do a size 2 as well. Ah, oh, they're dirt cheap. Just make all of them. <clears throat> That way, it doesn't matter how big the missile is, we can use a box launcher um, to suit. So, we'll have the box launcher, we'll have the fire control. We don't need active sensors because our uh, ha um, carrier is going to have that. Uh, do we need anything else? We need engines, of course, but that will come later. <clears throat> no, that's it. All right, so let's go and design those. So cancel that. Represent kinetics. <clears throat> Size two box. 
size 3, size 4, size 5, and size 6. And that's it for now. <clears throat> now we also need sensors. Sensors, here we go. Where is he? There he is. Bomber fire control. What was he working on? Countermeasures. Cool. All right. So now we need to wait for production cycle. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the population. Okay. Well, we lost a scientist, but it's okay. He wasn't doing anything important. And we have all of our box launcher designs. Perfect. So, to Brook. Okay, so first of all, we put a fire control on. There we go. Wow. Okay. No, that's the wrong fire control. This one. Whew. All right, so we got 42 tons with fire control. <clears throat> right up. Next, we need some box launchers. Um, but before that, we need to figure out our strike missile range. So let's go to missile design. Um, arrow E's. They're a little bit longer range than we necessarily want. And AMMs are way too short range, so we'll need a new design. So we'll switch to our prototype design. Um, actually, what we'll do is we will use this. So we have no payload. We don't need a sensor or anything like that. We're just going to use our bomber. So damage per MSP is, is 664 magnetoplasma. Consumption is 0. 0.5, and we have 200. Yes, we do. Good. All right. And we only need 50 million range. Let's see what it can do with a size 6. 16 damage, not bad. What about a size 4? Sixteen damage again. Oh, there's a fuel MSP. So cruise missile probably was possible. Oh well. Uh, only thirty <clears> percent. <throat> Size four is up to thirty-seven. That's not bad, but it's only 9 damage. Uh, <clears throat> so we can fit multiple si multiple 9 damage, or go for a 16. You know what, I like the shock damage of 16. Um, okay, size 6 box launcher. You know what, we can fit a few of these. 4 box launchers. That's not bad. <clears throat> All right, engine, engine. I mean, maximum possible. And 250 tons. 250 would give a little bit of overhead as well for things that might be needed. <clears throat> uh, what about six? Six is 300 tons which is too much. Could go for a two. Or a four, maybe. Because they don't need to be very fast, right? They only need to be fast enough to catch pretty much anything. So, at 160, what kind of speed can we expect? So, if we now go to my engine calculator... Oh, 
Oh, this is a this isn't my one, but this is a new one that I found, uh, which is pretty nice. But let's see what we get. So we need a speed of twenty thousand, a range of. Let's go for at least five billion. That wouldn't be too bad. No, we don't really care about range. Um, and we have 200% as the highest. Fuel efficiency is 0.5 and magnetoplasma. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, let's try it again. 50, 20,000, 200. 0.5 negative plasma. <coughs> oh, for some reason it doesn't appear to be working. No, not that one. Okay, well I can find it from there. It was working like two minutes ago. Maybe the guy who made it is is uh, working on it now. Entrance speed calculator. Okay, so desired speed is 20,000. <coughs> this is 50. Okay, so we need 1,000 engine power to get 20,000 speed. That doesn't sound right. To get a thousand engine power, we would need a sixteen hundred ton engine. You know what? We have two hundred fifty tons. We'll do. We'll do this one. And uh, we're gonna, we'll create the four and the three as well. We can always delete the designs if we don't um, need them. And they're not that expensive in terms of technology. So we'll close this down. Actually, we do want the missile design. We need that bomb missile. So what do we got? We need... We need missile engine. Engine here we go. Alright, and what does it say? It says With the 400 power mod. Okay. Um, what should we call it? Um, this is a size four, isn't it? No, it's a size six. So we can call it, eh, we'll call it the torpedo drive. All right, so now we need our power guy to make us some engines. So we want the torpedo. And then the 
max strength fighter drive, and while we're at it, the lower strength fighter drives. And then I can go back to finishing off the Tokamak Future. And we'll give him... This one. And five of these. <coughs> there we go. Alright, and task group, pick up this one, absorb. Equalize fuel, and we'll go to the Townsville jump point. No, not the Townsville jump point, the solid jump point. Go to Earth, refuel, resupply. Load ordinance. That'll do. How much ordinance is on Earth? We have. 400 ammons and 99 arrow E's. We do not have enough arrow E's. Let's make another thousand arrow E's. Um, magnetoplasma drive done. Perfect. So, here we are. And what was the rest of the missile? It was 2.3 fuel. Point 0.9 agility. Oh, 0.89 agility. Okay, 0.89 agility. No, no, point, 0.89 agility. 0.23 fuel. And 2.6 warhead. So, what does that come up with? 50 million, 23,900. With about 30%. Now, we have a little bit of spare room, so what I'll do is I will... Can we add... Can adding a little bit of extra agility help? Let's find out. So we've got 0 0.7, which is 90... 20... 96... No, it won't help. See, don't forget, the, the, maneuver, the maneuver rating is what's important, right? So... By adding another 0.1, you don't actually get any benefit whatsoever, right? So, there we go. So, that's pretty much the best we're going to get without putting in too much. Um, and we need... If we get up to points uh, to 27, then we have an extra point of damage up to 16. We have our 16 damage. So fuel capacity will reduce that by there. So six torpedo. Now this is a short range series, so we'll create a new design, a new series called um, SR. S ASM six. <coughs> or just SRM six. There we go. So because the f it has the fighters to guide it, it doesn't necessarily need its own sensor at all. Um, so we'll this will basically just be a single strike um, torpedo. Did we create that?
No, we created the series. So size six torpedo, and we will create. <clears throat> there it is, and the missile guy. Once again, I'll pull you off and give you the torpedo. And we're going to pull countermeasures. And give you those labs. There we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mark Aronson has completed overhaul, that's fine. Alright, our f largest power fighter engine is ready. There we go. Let's go see how it looks. Sixteen thousand. You know what? It's faster than the other guy. That will do. That's too much. That'll do. It's faster than the other guy. That'll do. Um, we got nothing that's that'll fit in three tons, so we'll consider that a little bit of overhead, and that's perfect. <coughs> All right. So we have ourselves a little fighter bomber. So it's got four size six uh, missiles. Actually, let's have a quick check. Now, so this is just, you know, for comparison purposes. So we have four size sixes. What about size fours? So we get six size fours. That's not that not that different. Um, so we got. So we can only get nine damage out of the six nines, right? Or we can get the four size sixes, except they're sixteens, sixteen damage. See, so assuming assuming all hits, the size sixes are going to deal more damage overall than the um, additional size size fours. So we will stick with the size sixes. There we go. Less missiles you have to build as well, so um, just a bit easier doesn't matter. Uh, we don't have the thing yet, so there's no point loading it. Okay, next. Um, shell water. Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> I'll set it to a 16-month... I know, it's 18-month for 1.5 years. Uh, four, three layers of armor. Yeah, this will be a carrier. Um, you know, it's more of an escort carrier. No, you know what, I'm going to put a flagship bridge on it. Command carrier it is. Okay. So for a carrier, first and foremost, we need cargo hold, hangar decks. <clears throat> so this will give us 10 fighters. Let's go for a wing of 20. Okay. So once again, we'll pull out our loadout calculator, which is here. So we can use arrow E's because of the same size, so that'll do. So what do we need? We need hang on. I think I missed something from the other one. Oh well. Ah bugger, I'll just use this. Okay, so we've got four sixes 
in a, in a fighter. And we wouldn't want spare fighter. And we've got strike group. Total loadout. I'll put that there. So this is this times this. Good. So how many do we need at the moment? So we've got 10,000 tons. So for 5,000 tons, we have 10 fighters. That'll be 240. That's nothing. Let's go for 20. Okay, 480 per wing per strike. Um, would that be all right? Um, what much, how much, what kind of magazines do we have? I think we only have 300 magazines. 300 magazines, yeah. Um, I might go for a 10 wing strike instead at the moment. Um, that'll give us basically 240 per. So one of these magazines will store a full loadout of missiles um, or a full strike of, of missiles. So, um, no, there should be a balance point. So 240, 480. We're looking for multiples of uh, 620. We're looking for multiples of 300. 960, 1200. Here we go. Five strikes. So 1200 capacity. Oops, too many. 1200 capacity. Perfect. And we're loading to Brooks. We should be able to get 10 of them. Ah, oh, because we haven't reduced the uh, things. Um, on the other hand, what we could do is we could bring seven of them and bring a few extra to Brooks. So only use a, a flight of ten, but that way we have four spares. So if any gets shot down, we have a few fighters. And if we need it, we do have those four extra fighters that we can send on a strike. So... It won't be the best, but it gives us a little bit more flexibility. So that's perfect. All right. <clears throat> Next, we are going to put a flag bridge on here because it is a command carrier. Um, after that, we need engines. So... Did the commercial engines get us anywhere? Too slow. One of these will get us up to 4,000. Perfect. Um, we need engineering spaces. One point seven years. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, Damage control, one maintenance storage bay, because we need the MSP to repair. I think I'm pretty sure we need the MSP to repair fighters. So a little bit extra there. Uh, we are going to need fuel. Two million, good. So it's very, very slow, only 3,000 kilometers. So I might stick another engine in there. There, 5,000. That'll do. Um, no guns on it, because our fighters should be the ones escorting it. Um, and it's never really supposed to be going anywhere on its own. So, we don't need it, um, anything to come with it. Um, do we want sensors on it? We don't necessarily want sensors on it. Because if we put sensors on it, that'll paint it as a target. I mean, things are already going to see it from far enough or far enough out as it is. We don't necessarily want it um, advertising its position further. Because, yeah, it's not going to be in system on its own, but it will break off and it'll probably launch fighters from long range. I mean, the fighters have 5 billion kilometers range 
on um they need more fuel mm, okay Okay, so we did lose a launcher. Okay, now how does it compare in terms of damage? So we got 3 times 6, 3 times 16, compared to... Five times nine. About the same. How about we get larger volleys with the other one? No, I'm going to keep it as size sixes because we already have that missile designed anyway. So. I'll call them heavy bombers and that'll be the end of it. I don't know, it feels like something could fit in there. We've got about 25 tons. I could give him a little bit extra range. <coughs> a little bit of extra range never hurt. There, an extra billion kilometers range. Uh, what kind of speed did that hit did that take? 500 kilometers a second. No, I will give him the extra range because that gives him that gives him three days of deployment and that gives him four days of fuel. So that gives them easily enough fuel to get anywhere they need and to potentially run around a little bit. So no, this is good. This is good. The brook is fine. Shoal water. How you doing? So we've got the hangar deck, we've got speed, we've got a little bit of token armor, we've got a magazine, we've got a strike group. All we need now is missiles and, unfortunately, some tonnage increase for sh our shipyard. Do we have a spare military naval shipyard? No, we do not, but we do have one that produces Grimsby. So what we'll do is I'll, up, I'll raise that one for construction of a carrier or race I don't know I'll figure something out so naval shipyard just the one 50% get working um, I think what I will do is I will start increasing all of these up to 30,000 tons because I want to be able to have that extra room for future uh, naval designs. So I don't want to have to be stuck uh, grinding out, uh, trying to raise the shipyards when, my, when new tech comes along. So that is what we'll do. Um, I'll keep these engines, but no, I'm not going to need them. Forget it. And uh, get a few points into that one, but we're going to have to change that since it's done. So delete that and delete that. Okay. <clears throat> Where is the, where are these guys? Okay, we still haven't got back to Earth yet. All right. <clears throat> uh, torpedo's done. Perfect. So, to Brook, your ordinance is the size 6 torpedo. And shell water... Yours will be as well. 
200 of them. Oh, well, this, this means we have um, potentially enough magazines for the entire wing of 14, which is fine. <clears throat> so 21, 200. Crew berths. We need crew berths. So we have 14 fighters and we have two crew per fighter, so we need 28. 38's a bit much. Twenty-eight. Uh, put a tiny one. Yeah, thirty. So that will that will ensure that our crew quarters do are able to get um, that our, that our fighters don't rack up deployment time while they're docked, because that will be just crap. So um, yeah, no, that that's that's fun. That's better. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay. Fuel is equalize it. <clears throat> okay. Fleet should arrive now. There we go. Alright, so let's start keep working on Industry. We're going to need missiles. We're going to need a thousand torpedoes. We'll create them after the arrows. <clears throat> okay. Tokamak fusion reactor is almost ready. There we go. And now let's we'll start work on internal confinement fusion. And after that, get the capacitor rate. So this will uh, internal fusion engines get um, give you some really nice speed for power or for mass. So at that stage, we'll be able to get our proper fighters out as well. Uh, two of these Melbournes got refitted. Yeah, I, I also realized that I hadn't actually refitted all the Melbournes, so I started work on refitting those. That should be the last of them. Maybe. No, one more. Um, <clears throat> so that's fine. Okay, we're not going to watch those. <clears throat> does, that does that PDC have hangar space? Stuart, do you have hangar space? Yes, you do. Alright, we can start putting our fighters now. Fighters, here we go. To Brook. So... That's the production cost, and we will need a wing of 14, but we want to leave some at the um, at home base, so we will create... Wait a sec, how much space do you have? 30,000, that gives us 60 fighters. Right, yeah, we've got plenty of room. So 28, that's what we'll make. That's going to take a while. Um, about four years to get all of them, so two years to get the 14 for our carrier. Hopefully by then we'll have a shipyard that can actually 
handle building it. And there's not really much uh, bother in, move, in shuffling these ships around as well. It takes, you know, just a couple of months to retool a shipyard, so it's not that big of a deal. So it's probably this one that's going to have to do it. But, oh well. Okay. Your yeah, shipyard's ready. What about highway for time? Forty five minutes. So <clears throat> I guess we'll start wrapping up then. Cause it's just gonna be a grind until we get to the thing. Um but we'll do a, a few uh quick little trials for our fighters. There we go, fighters earth. So it's in orbit around the earth, but it's not actually docked to anything, right? So a normal ship should not run up maintenance or crew. So with a fighter, let's see if it does. It does not. Perfect. Okay, so I've, that's good. A fighter does not run up maintenance or crew while deployed around the planet that can maintain it. So maintenance facilities and population does seem to work fine on it. I mean, it makes sense, really. You know, th there's no reason why a fighter wouldn't be able to dive down and just land anywhere it wants, or, you know, within reason, and um, just basically camp out on planet. I mean, why wouldn't... Why, why, if you're in orbit around the planet and you have no orders, why would you sit in orbit for, you know, days or weeks or months on end? This is, it, it just doesn't make sense. Um, I better rebalance these <clears throat> real quick. So, yeah. Um, let's get us another 10 labs. We'll find something to do with them. Uh, that's a second fighter. Better go check on him real quick. Yep, good. I mean, it, it is slowly climbing, but all the maintenance clocks do that, really. They never really sit at zero. Actually, I just realized the maintenance clock on this fighter is like tens of years. Yeah, two years. So that maintenance clock going up actually does matter. Yeah, no, that is going up. Okay, so we're going to have to dock them. So, to dock fighters, there's a few different ways. Um, so, for this one, we are going to land on so you have land on specified mothership so land on specified mothership no assign means that it'll land on it and that's it it'll just be in the in the hangar if you do plus assign then it will also assign that ship as the mothership for this fighter so we'll add move to land and assign and i'll show you motherships so now the fighter task group is gone but if we go to the pdc group there we have it the Tobruk fighter landed uh, on, with the mothership or, or on mothership Stuart, and that will be landed and docked. Um, and you'll notice that the maintenance clock will eventually start the grinding back down again. So if we skip another five days,
go down to the PDC fleet. See, so that one's back down to zero, that one's down to 0.03. So just being in a hangar will reduce their maintenance clock. So fighters that are docked are permanently on overhaul. All right, um, if, now if we go to the fighters, fighters view, we can see that you can build squadrons out of it. So um, I'll wait a little bit, but uh, I'll show you just real quick. Uh, now I'll do squadrons in the, in the next video once we get the fighters and the uh, hangar um, and the carrier ready. So I'll skip along, uh, keeping an eye out for anything important. And when the carrier gets built, or when we finish tooling for the carrier, we'll see, depending on when th and things happen. Um, eventually we'll continue on, but we'll be getting around the time of carrier deployment by the time that happens, uh, assuming nothing else interesting happens in the meantime. So uh, this is where we put the cut, and I will see you all tomorrow.